What you doing, Brian? <laughs> Ready? Okay, so we're calibrating our automatic draw off. So what we're doing is we're boiling water. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. And we're gonna see where the boiling point of water is. So we put the probe in and we have our control unit for our automatic draw and you can see it's reading in Fahrenheit. Our set point is gonna be seven degrees what the boiling point is. And this morning at 6.30 it was 113.6 so we'll see what it is this afternoon it's a beautiful sunny day warm 20 degrees and we'll see what our boiling point of water is so we just allow the kettle to boil it and when the temperature stabilizes that's our boiling point and then we put our draw temperature seven degrees over when the, temp when the temperature stabilizes we know it's boiling stabilizing at 211 point four a little over two degrees lower than it was this morning at 630 very interesting you're setting the draw off temperature to 218 Seven degrees above 211. Yeah, so 218.5. So we'll probably go with the 218.5. Yeah, right there. Right there, 218.5. Seven degrees. here we're calibrating our automatic draw again today so we've got boiling water here and today we're just using the simple cooking probe and we're going to see what the temperature is the water boiling it's hot it's 11.1 So uh, we'll set our probe for 218.1 today. A little bit lower than yesterday. But, uh, that's where we're at for today. Happy boiling. Hey everyone, so you saw us boiling the water and checking for the boiling point of water temperature today and we found out that it was 211.1. So now we're gonna program our set point, which is the green one, to 218.1, which is seven degrees above boiling and the white temperature is what the actual temperature of our syrup is. So now when it reaches 218.1, the automatic draw will open and we'll have syrup coming off. That's how our automatic draw works. So we check the boiling point each day, sometimes several points times a day, depending on the uh, weather and the atmospheric temperature and pressure. And uh, that seems to be the science behind this. Kind of cool. Yeah.